Hi, hello everyone. I'm Toshi from Japan and travel guide for foreigners. In this video, I'll show you seven travel tips to avoid crowds in Japan. Before diving into today's content, let me give you a quick rundown. In October 2023, Japan saw a whopping 2.51 million foreign visitors, an impressive 100.8% compared to the same period in 2019 pre-COVID times, as I explained in my previous video. Over-tourism impacts various parts of Japan. Today, I'll be sharing tips to tackle this issue. I'll discuss measures undertaken by the Japanese government and provide insights from my own experiences. Understanding these tips will help you avoid crowded spots, ensuring a more comfortable and enjoyable travel experience in Japan. Stick around till the end for valuable insights. So, let's get started. Number one is change your visit time. I'll illustrate this with two examples. Firstly, consider engaging in exclusive programs offered at art galleries or museums during the early mornings or evenings. For instance, Tokyo National Museum hosts special nighttime events where visitors can enjoy music alongside the exhibits. Secondly, let's talk about Kyoto, famous for its historical streets and attractions. There's a wealth of information on Google Maps showcasing tourist spots in Kyoto that opened before. 9 o'clock a.m., including temples, shrines, eateries, and various cultural experiences. Moreover, many temples and shrines offer evening special visits, presenting the chance to appreciate their serene beauty illuminated by enchanting lights without the daytime crowds. I will post the link to those information in the description area. These off-peak hours provide unique opportunities to explore renowned destinations with tranquility and witness them in a different light literally and figuratively from captivating museum experience until special writing to certain temporal visits during the quiet evenings these time shifted visits can add a magical touch to your exploration of japan number two is avoid commute time as i explained in my previous video japan's rush hour commute is renowned for its staggering crowds and packed trains but during the pandemic, remote work became prevalent, and for a while, transportation saw a decrease in ridership. However, as the world gradually returns to normalcy post-pandemic, many companies have resumed in-office work, leading to a resurgence in the intensity of rush hour commutes. As a result, trains and stations are once again teeming with commuters, making travel during these peak hours an exhausting and time-consuming experience. As I mentioned previously, to optimize your travel experience, it's advisable to steer clear of these rush hours. Avoiding these crowded periods not only conserves your time, but also spares you from the physical strain of navigating through the packed transportation system, typically. These peak periods are in the mornings from 7.30 a.m. to 9 o'clock a.m., and in the evenings from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Shifting your travel time is even slightly can make a significant difference in the ease and comfort of your journey, allowing you to navigate to Japan's transportation system more smoothly and stress-free. Number three is Japan's season to avoid. I'm diving into a travel tip that could significantly impact your experience in Japan. Avoiding peak vacation times for locals. Here's the scoop. Steer clear of periods when Japanese people typically take their vacations. Specifically, these bustling times include Japan's Golden Week in May, the summer holiday stretch, and the year-end, New Year holiday season. Japanese folks often have these breaks simultaneously, resulting in skyrocketing travel expenses and overcrowded tourist destinations. It's a time when everything seems to be bustling with activity and the crowds might hinder the experience you're looking forward to. So, here's the advice for all of you planning a visit. Dodge these periods if you can. Doing so might just save you from the hustle and bustle, allowing you to enjoy your travels in Japan with a bit more tranquility and at a more reasonable cost. Remember, timing is everything when it comes to experience Japan without the overwhelming crowds and inflated prices. Number 4 is Crowd Monitoring Service In certain tourist spots in Japan, there are innovative services that forecast demand and detect real-time congestion using cameras. 
and then relay this information on websites or apps. Locations like Kyoto and Kamakura in Kanagawa Prefecture have implemented these services. For instance, Kyoto operates the Kyoto City Official Travel Guide webpage, which provides this service and is available in English and Chinese. This platform displays icons on the map indicating the crowd levels at various tourist spots. This service even offers live streaming, so you can visually confirm the current situation at specific places. By utilizing these terms, you can cleverly avoid congested times and locations, ensuring a more comfortable and enjoyable experience while exploring Kyoto. Number 5 is Avoid Public Transportation as I mentioned earlier, Japan's rush hours are legendary for their packed trains and buses. But lately, due to over-tourism in places like Kyoto, public transport gets packed even during off-peak hours. That's right, it's crowded almost all the time. So, here's a suggestion. Why not opt for cycling or renting a scooter to explore instead? It's not only a fantastic way to see the sights, but it also gives you a bit of exercise and hey, it's eco-friendly too. Renting bikes or scooters has become quite popular. And when I was in Kyoto recently, I noticed many tourists opting for this convenient and enjoyable way to get around. By choosing alternative means of getting around, you can sidestep the hassle of overcrowded transportation. And you can enjoy a more leisurely, flexible, and eco-conscious travel experience at your own pace. Number 6 is Exploring hands-free. It's crucial to avoid lugging around large suitcases during your sightseeing adventures. They're not only inconvenient, but can also contribute to congestion on public transport. Upon arrival at the airport, there are services available that allow you to send your luggage directly to your hotel. This means you can head straight into the city without the need to first stop at your accommodation. This not only makes your trip more comfortable, but also saves you time. Moreover, various tourist spots, including train stations and specific service sites like Kyoto Station, offer luggage storage services in Kyoto. For example, there's a dedicated reception site at Kyoto Station where you can safely store your belongings. Furthermore, walker services are widely available throughout Japan's tourist areas. These facilities provide a secure place to store your luggage while you explore the city comfortably. By utilizing these services, you can tour Kyoto or any other destinations in Japan without the hassle of carrying the heavy luggage, ensuring a more enjoyable and stress-free experience. Number 7 is Explorer Countryside. In October 2023, the Japanese government unveiled initiatives to encourage tourists to explore regional areas addressing over tourism challenges. Consequently, regional destinations now have improved tourism, making it easier for visitors to explore. Dot. Even in my rural hometown, there are noticeable changes like multilingual order panels in local ramen shops. Reflecting the government's support for regional tourism, the government has identified 11 model regions for this initiative, aiming to guide travelers toward less explored areas. If you are interested, I can create a separate video to delve deeper into this topic. Please share your thoughts in the comments section. Additionally, flights have begun connecting major cities like Tokyo and Osaka to various regional cities. For instance, flights now operate from Bangkok and Thailand to Hokkaido, Seoul in South Korea to Saga Prefecture, and Taipei and Taiwan to Kumamoto Prefecture. This initiative makes exploring Japan beyond Tokyo, Osaka, and Kyoto more accessible and enjoyable. So, why not consider venturing into these less traveled destinations for a unique experience? How would 7 travel tips to avoid crowds? Please share your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like button. See you in my next video. Bye!